Hey yo, what's up? You know what it is, your boy TDG in the building. Welcome back to Run That Rex and today we start game number two. And yeah, you've read the title of this at this point. And yeah, we're playing this. Reason being is that yeah, I could play Mega Man One, but you know, that would kind of, you know, go in the misorder of how I'm trying to present Run That Rex. The long and short of it is this. I learned to appreciate Mega Man as a series through this game so it would be kind of weird in a chronological type of state in trying to get you guys to understand of how I approach gaming in the fact that I wouldn't play Mega Man 1 first because I didn't play Mega Man 1 for real until years later so if you ever watched the Mega Man Brown review you know this but I need to narrate this so give me a second X is the first of a new generation of robots which contain an innovative new feature, the ability to think, feel, and make their own decisions. However, this ability could be very dangerous. If X were ever to break the first rule of robotics, a robot must never harm a human being, the results would be disastrous, and I fear that no force on Earth could stop it. Approximately 30 years will be required before we can safely confirm its reliability. Unfortunately, I will not live to see that day, nor do I have anyone to carry on my work. Therefore, I have decided to steal him in this capsule, which will test his internal systems until his reliability has been confirmed. Please, do not disturb the capsule until that time. X possesses great wit as well as great possibilities. I can only hope for the best. September 18th, 28th X, Dr. Thomas White. And yeah, we're technically in control of a thinking, feeling, killing machine. If the thinking, feeling, killing machine could think and feel to kill things, I guess. But yeah, it's a lot of questions about the Mega Man lore and things like that we'll get into as Run That Race goes on when we play Mega Man X. But, I've got a highway to get to. Give me a second, flick. Yeah, I don't want to see that. You want to see this, right here. Ha, <sighs> yeah, one of the most classic tunes in all the video games, Central Highway. I remember when I first played this game back in 93. It was like, yo, it was like, it was like, I played Mega Man before, you know, like the old games of my, my cousin. You know, my cousin had like Mega Man 2 and things like that. But it's like, like I said, I really did not appreciate them to a lot later. So, it's like, a lot of stuff that I really got to appreciate, you know, after I got a chance, you know, to, to play to play 1-3-6 of the classic series, you know, really, at that time, as a little kid, really fell on, like, death here. Because I didn't really know any better. But when I played 6, is that, you know, it's like, once I played 6, I knew I wanted to play more Mega Man. And that's why, you know, like I said earlier, this is why I chose, you know, that if I'm going to play a Mega Man game, to start to, 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 um, to be like my second game and run that rest, it's going to be this game. For no other reason of how much I appreciate and love what this game has provided with me. Awesome hours of continued entertainment, you know, things we'll see in a minute. Ooh, Peter King. Ooh, another Peter King. Ooh. But like I said, there is so much to learn and appreciate about this game and, you know, the less we say about anything after X3, the better, because, you know, X4 was the last game in the series that made any damn thing. And, you know, we'll, and we'll get into that, too. We'll, we'll get into a lot of com comparisons between this game and Maverick Hunter X and things like that as we go through the talk through, because there are some plot points that, you know, Maverick Hunter X, you know, because it is a reboot regardless of what anybody tells you was a series that was trying to fix the problems that plagued later games in the series like X4 and X5 and X6 and beyond so you know we gonna get into all of that but you know like I said just cruising down the highway shooting stuff blah 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 ah how you fell off I wanted to ride that but I guess I will not <laughs> you know, like that. You shoot them up and kill everything, shoot them up and kill everything. That's what we do when we're Mega Man, Mega Man. We're thinking, feeling, killing machine. We're thinking, 
feeling, killing machine. Okay, I'm not gonna pretend I don't know what happens next. This is the first thing I want to talk about in comparison of this and Mega Man and, and, uh, and Maverick Hunter X. Is that first time I played it, did not know you could actually hit this man in the head. Did not know that. So I got killed the first time thinking that it was just like that it was just like the old game. Oh, if you'll excuse me, I've got to read this text box. You worthless piece of scrap metal. Did you think you could defeat me? Cool coolest shit ever! The most epic thing in video games ever. First time I saw this, still see it now, still blown away as fuck, zero and fucking off me shit. If you didn't know. And now I have to read more text box. One second. I guess I'm not powerful enough to defeat him. X, you shouldn't expect to defeat him. He's designed to be a war machine. Remember, you've not yet reached full power. If you use all the abilities you were designed with, you should become stronger. You may even become as powerful as I am. I'll scout ahead and collect as much information about on sacred fortunes as I can. I'll meet up with you when you get there. See you later. X, I know you can do it. Yeah, see, I feel, you know, this is a good game and I need to get my, my voice acting practice on, you know, just to make sure I don't suck at it, which I probably do. I need work. It is what it is. Oh, and here's the password. Write it down if you want to. Write it down because we're going to be coming to this screen and I'm going to get a chance because we're going to play it old school. Like, yeah, give you a chance to write down the password. And here we are at the safe select. After running up and down the damn highway, we get to the meat of the game. Is that, that as you know, Mega Man X was, I think, the Mega Man game that introduced the intro stage, which has become a staple in most every Mega Man game of this type, you know, in games to come. So, we're treading new ground here or something like that. When we come back next time, you know what I have to do first. Honestly, I've seen a playthrough where the thing you're supposed to do first isn't done. There's a way to even, I think you can beat the game without doing that thing. But, you know, for the sake of the playthrough, I'm going to do that thing first. That, yeah, I did say at the end of the Mario Bros. I'm going uh, to twist it up a little bit, like twist up my, the way I'm going through the game, but it's not that. I can, you can trust me, it ain't going to be that shit right there. So, we go ahead and get out of here. You know what it is, your boy TBG. Mega Man X, we in the building, man. Um, I'll holler at y'all later, man. Peace out!